it occurred to me working through this form that in the beginning I said we'd only use one field set and we'd group together all our contact information within that field set and that's all we'd need for this one for our one form but I, I recall that you always want to wrap your submit button around its own field set because what happens is you're able to target um, that field set better and and sometimes when you when you're actually laying out your form you could see that the buttons if they are in in the same field set they could kind of you can't really inch them to exactly where you want um, so the way to overcome that is just to wrap the submit button around its own field set so the first thing is that we'll do is grab that input value the input type equals submit and that's our button from our original um, responsomatic provided form and I'm going to go into code now in between the first field set where it ends and where the form ends I'm going to create another field set right so field set and what I'm going to do now is inside of that field set I'm going to nest that input value and then close the field set now in case we want to uh, want to use something else for our for our main for our main field set which is our first form I'm going to create a class for this thing, and why don't I? I'm going to create it actually in my in my CSS, my main.css. And if you recall, when you create a class, it always starts with a dot. And this one, I'm going to do submit. And I mean, I'm not even filling in any values for it right now. I'm just creating a class, and I'm going to go back to my source code over here, and and give this thing a class of. And see, it automatically pops up over here of submit. Now, when we're working with this thing down the road, we'll be able to target this button specifically. Because if we just use the field set in our um, in our CSS, it would target both the main information over here, the contact info, as well as our submit info. And the finished product is something like this. Now, you could already see that that this one field set has if we look a little bit closely contact information has this border around it and now since we created a new field set for our submit button there's actually a border around that and if we were to put a legend for uh, our send it looks similar to this where it'd be right in the middle of the border so you know at this point we are almost to completion for creating an accessible form